It was business as usual on Yokota until this samurai wandered through the base. An opposing ninja scaled a tree and waited, then jumped into action. A poof of smoke left his victim disoriented. A tactic this warrior learned in a class about the ancient art of ninjutsu. <laughs> this way a lot of people try to modernize it but you lose the actual the real art of it like many sports have lost their true art Airman Carbonero has studied martial arts since he was 12 and hopes his students can learn from him as he's learned from others we do training it's kind of uh, the feeling of the day we don't have any pre set course of what we do during the day most of the stuff we do in ninjutsu is based on feeling Okay, why does a guy fall? Because I'm putting this, these spikes into him. Punch through. The feeling is a recurring theme from these ninjas in training. Feeling. 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 Feel. Feeling. Feel. Again, it's the feeling. It's, it's hard to explain, really. Yeah, there's something we call the void, where you actually feel. It's almost like a, a spider sense. You know, if you were a Spider-Man, you can actually feel something coming. The other thing you can do... So you anticipate it, and your body, body is actually taught to naturally flow from one position to the next. You're sitting in your car, you look next to you, and all of a sudden there's someone looking at you, but you felt that someone was looking at you. We actually train through this feeling. I want them to be able to hone in on this. Okay? No matter how they do it, these folks really enjoy ninjutsu. With nine years of martial arts practice, Senior Master Sergeant Mike Brizel says this class is a flowing environment where everyone is a teacher. Well, I've looked at all the martial arts, and uh, ninjutsu seems to be the only one that I can see myself doing even when I'm 60 years old. It doesn't require the high kicks and the flexibility that some arts like Taekwondo or others may, may uh, require. So I feel that it's really versatile. Instead, the ninjas have a wide variety of weapons they can use to defend Let's themselves. Okay. The blade is shorter. Okay than that one. So hold that up like that. Okay, that's the ninja toe. The reason why it's designed like, hold it up against the tuba there. The reason why it's designed like this is for a number of reasons. One, you could draw a lot faster. Okay. We're learning practical Two, techniques that I can use in everyday situations that might happen. So because it's so practical, I just feel like, you know, I must study it to protect myself and be able to protect my family. So from here, you can throw. Learning how to use all these ancient weapons, you actually learn how to use modern, common, everyday things. It's, it's different from other martial arts. It's, uh, other martial arts is kind of, you know, you get what you see kind of thing. Everything here is kind of, it's not what it appears, you know, there's more to it kind of kind of thing. You gotta experience it. Even though situations like these aren't prevalent today, these martial arts enthusiasts say this class has prepared them to use the feeling for whatever comes at them. Petty Officer Zach Badorf, AFN News, Yokota Air Base, Japan.